All right. Okay, that's me. Uh, I'm Tala. I release Varnish, and I'm also responsible for various other bits in, in uh, Varnish software. Um, we're in the process of releasing 304. Um, it's almost there, but I would really appreciate it seeing more testing. It's mostly got, uh, yeah, I think that's, yeah. It's got some robustness to fix this, uh, in particular if your backend does some weird shit, uh, like giving us uh, invalid GSIP. That's on uh, with ESI, that's something we don't handle today correctly. There are bits like that. Um, if your varnish doesn't crash, you're probably not affected. Uh, we're turning off, uh, turning, uh, turning on TCP no delay. So it only affects you if you're doing uh, GSIP and ESI. But in that case, you can see some performance improvement. Uh, we've tweaked the, the filtering of the varnish log somehow. So you can, uh, today it shows a fair bit of noise that's being filtered out um, when you're doing matching on something. Uh, and a nice extra feature, which is much better tab completion in Warnish Add, so it actually completes commands and so on. It currently doesn't do that at all. So as you can see, it's, it's mostly small bits. Um, I'm not going to use the, the half hour given to me, because uh, lots of what I was going to say is uh, covered by Paul Henning, and there's no point in me standing here saying approximately the same things. So, um, 3140353140. It turn next version is going to be 40. Uh, this slide is a, almost a copy of a slide from the last work, except there it was without that bit. <laughs> because at that point it was going to be 31. But we discovered, well, there are larger changes. Uh, we'll call it 40. Um, as Paul Henning said, uh, we're looking at the feature set, we're looking at the, we want to have that base layer completely done. 4.0 itself, well, it will have uh, all the tools and so on, it will have feature parity with 3.0, uh, and it will have done all the groundwork to do uh, more interesting bits in either 4.1 or 4.01, depending on how big the changes are such as, as uh, the varnish log filtering language. Um, it's a flag day for breaking features. We do not break uh, existing VCL in, in a stable release series because that would be bad. We want people to, to be sure that they can upgrade from whether it's 303 to 304. Um, any, any behavior change which is uh, not wanted Meaning, if, if it stops crashing, that's not a bug. But any other kind of, any negative behavior change is a bug. Uh, so, which is why the major versions are, are kind of important. Um, there's obviously also the, the question about uh, when it's going to be released. Uh, it's a usual answer, when it's ready. We want to get the features, features done, uh, the, the varnish log, Bits are get the API bits are getting there. So as Paul Henning said, we're looking at doing a, a some kind of a tech preview alpha style release, uh, hopefully before summer, and then a proper for for auto sometime in the autumn. Um, there are some nice tabs as well. Uh, we're going to do package vmods. Currently, to build a vmod, you have to have access to a built. Uh, varnish source tree, which is, it's really annoying if you want to package up emails as RPMs or devs and ship them off. So we're going to make it, we're going to ship more of the source uh, in a development package, which you can then point the build process to and it will find the headers and, and the information it needs. Uh, which is going to, to make it possible for us to pip, actually put vmods into distributions such as Debian and, and RHEL. Uh, we're also looking at adding soft ban. Soft ban means uh, you can you have a ban, which a ban is actually not a ban. A ban is 
it's an expression uh, to which you apply a condition to all objects matching that in your entire cache. So SoftBand allows you to do, it takes it two steps further, where you can not only say, don't serve this object, you can also do things like, please increase the TTL of this object, please only change the TTL, or please change the grace, but not the TTL, and so on. So that's, that's going to be interesting to see. Um, I'm hoping to, to push it in, into 4.0, but it might be 4.01. Uh, it's also kind of, it's certainly nice to have um, if you manage to, to do stuff like, oops, I accidentally set my, all my grace times too low. You can then do, you can actually then, across the board, increase the grace time post factor. Um, yeah, so that's basically the release status. Um, Questions? Yeah, when you say about bringing in, uh, about delivering the compiled the mods, I'd like to ask about the terms in which you're bringing these to your release. Are these going to be supported like this STD mod, and we'll keep them working together with the core, with the core bench, the core uh, bench delivery, the deliverable, or just a convenience or a convenient deliverable? Here's also. A mod compiled as is, and we're not supporting it. It's just there for convenience. Uh, so the, the question is about, uh, as I understand it, it's about what, when are we, well, to what extent, and when are we going to pull existing vmods from the community or that we find somewhere? Way bring it into the core. In, into Bonnage, the Bonnage distribution itself, right? Right. Uh, it's something we've been talking about to do for a while, and it's something we want to do. Uh, we'll have to establish some set of criteria to do so, because we don't, by doing that, we're starting to build some kind of a standard uh, library. And we want that st standard library to have, um, it should have a coherent design. Uh, I don't know if, you, if you've used, uh, if you've ever used PHP and used uh, the raw MySQL and Postgres functions. If you read the documentation for them, at least back in the days, they took the parameters in opposite orders. So one of them would have, uh, when you were going to do a query, one would take the, the connection handle and then the query string. The other one would take the query string and then the connection handle. We don't want you to end up in a situation like that. We want it to be consistent. So we will need to then uh, sit down and basically do Maybe we'll, we'll say that, yes, we can include this uh, vmod, but then you need to, you actually need to change the API so it's consistent with what other similar vmods are doing. Um, we haven't done that yet, but I, I think that we're going to end up pulling in some of the more common vmods that, uh, that solve problems with which many people are, are going to, to have. Do, uh, for instance, the pulling in and the bolt sort mod, I think that that's certainly something we can do. <coughs> we'll also want to talk uh, to think about how to do namespacing, so people don't don't accidentally step on each other toes and so on. So it's it's yeah, planning. You seem like you want to say something. Well, one of the the, the big problems at my end of it is we need some kind of feedback process to tell us which VMOD people actually think should go into the standard collection. Um, and I don't know if we should, I mean, I'm not quite ready to just say we're going to go do a show of hands at every new team meeting. It's like we will do work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fine as long as you take out a, buy a, buy a small license also so you can pay for it. <laughs> but um, we, we need to find a way to find the, the relevant VMOPs for this in the first place because we don't want to drag around a VMOP that's essentially used by three persons somewhere in Elbonia and nobody else. Uh, we want it to be generally useful VMOPs and we want to make sure that that they are well architected for the solution space they're trying to target. So, so there's, there's a big chance there, a big opportunity for, for community involvement to, to help uh, shape and guide that process. Um, and then, as, as Todd says, there's a quality assurance documentation 
kind of stuff also. But the first point is we need to find out what the demons we're talking about are, which which we want to do, what to perceive to them. And and uh, I don't know how we best shape that process. I'm very open for it. Send it to Canada. So the question is about APIs to build to across releases. Yeah, yeah. Basically how to manage that. Um, we don't yet have a plan for it. It's something that um, currently uh, there there's a check there's a check in Varnish itself which checks uh, there's a version string in Varnish which gets compiled into Vmods so that it, it's a very strict API check, not API check, but API check. Uh, so you can't actually load a, a vmod which is compiled against any other, basically any other uh, get commit. Uh, that's probably a bit on the strict side, uh, but because we expose so much to vmods, uh, we don't yet know exactly which APIs they want to use internally. So currently it's a bit of a free for all, we don't guarantee anything. Um, that's well. That's not what I would call free for all. <laughs> but well, more of a you, you can use whatever you want. We don't give any guarantees, and we will happily change internal APIs without warning. I, That's problematic. I think. I, think, I mean, VMOs are relatively new thing for us. Yeah. Uh, I think in general that you cannot expect source code compatibility between major releases, but. I would very much hope that if you develop a VMOD for 4.0, then you can just recompile it for 4.1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, and it will just work. Uh, I won't guarantee you that, but for any random VMOD you might write, because as Tom says, it's free for all, and you might have to make this. We'll, we'll hear later on about people doing unnatural in front of the mill. Also, I think once we get a better feel for the APIs people actually want and need internally, we can we can give at least, if not guarantees, we can at least say, okay, you are using this. It's pretty common to use this this bit of functionality. We'll try really hard not to break it. Um, so I mean, we can't guarantee anything, but we can at least like say this is considered a stable interface or. Exactly the mechanism, whether that's annotating headers or documentation or something else, we haven't really decided on. Yeah. 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 Yeah.